Exactly what I've been waiting for. <laughs> I'm just gonna be then. 20k? 30k? <laughs> Alright guys and gentlemen, welcome back to Reese Glory. Oh my god! Now you boys might be wondering, Majel, what happened? What happened to your what happened to your arm? This SBC was a very considerable price. I didn't think it would be that expensive, but they they accept limbs, so I thought, who needs two arms? You know, I, I'm shit at this game anyway. We, we'll, we'll do with just one. Enough from the clown. Now seriously guys, this SBC is expensive. Is it worth it? Probably not. I wouldn't recommend many of you guys go out and do this unless you've really got the coins. I do, I've got a lot of coins spare. I've got 750K just sat there after doing the SBC. So I can comfortably afford this SBC, but for those of you guys that can't, I wouldn't worry about it. So goes normal cards overpowered as frick. D don't even fudge and bother. However, we have done it and he is slotting right into this team, boys and girls. This is our new team that I've been hyping up. It did change a little bit. I was tr originally playing the 4 triple 2 but uh, I did end up getting this Red Hernandez and I really wanted to use him because I absolutely loved his first inform and we obviously got him for free. Uh, and Zambrotta was, what, 550k? And I didn't think Zambrotta was that good from what I used him. He, he was fine, but it wasn't that good. You know, I know Hernandez was going to be better and obviously free and I can get the money in. So I just thought, let's see if we can try and get him in and it was quite easy all we had to do was change into the 4231 and everything kind of just works another good thing about this formation lads is i don't necessarily have to have oxley chamberlain i can get an icon center mid now if i if i was to switch those over i could get an icon center mid here so i might do that whereas before i did need the green link to Mane, whereas i don't need that i really like ox so i'm not desperate to do that but we'll see what we get from icon swaps and stuff and ox may get replaced who knows but yeah that's the new team lads obviously we've got Kanate and babu who just are amazing of course we've got Inform for an I did sell my Soul Campbell. I just didn't I didn't think it was worth having Soul Campbell when I can just get Varan here, you know. I can get Soul Campbell back, I can afford him. Again, we'll see what we get from Icon Swaps. If he's in there, I'll probably get Soul Campbell. Absolutely love Soul Campbell. I've missed him. I've missed him a little bit this week, and I haven't been defending quite as good without him. So I do miss him a little bit, but it just I don't know. Varan's amazing. Like, you know, I just didn't I didn't really see the point in having having a 500 k centre back when I can get a 300 k centre back. You just, you know. Okay. Yeah, pretty much the team is exactly the same. Of course, the Soko slotting in here. Haven't used him yet, but this is, it's a quite a juicy card. It actually did get a pretty good upgrade. A lot of these Futmas cards have got terrible upgrades. This card actually got a decent upgrade. So I'm happy to report that if you do, if you do go out and spend 260k, an arm and a kidney for this card, you are getting a decent upgrade on the normal card. So yeah, six foot two boys, high, high work rates, three star, three star, uh, you know, same as the normal card, of course. We've got 83 pace, lads, which I think is a plus three. I think it's plus two acceleration and free sprint speed, if I'm not mistaken. I love it. A decent little shooting upgrade, to be fair, lads. I think his normal card is something like 64 finishing. Obviously, 68 finishing is not very good, but it's better than his normal card. We've got 87 in-game dribbling, lads, which is really, really nice. Obviously, that's, I think, a plus three on the, the normal card, if I'm not mistaken, I think. I, I, I'm trying to just remember his stats. It's, it's, a, it's a hard card to remember. There's a lot of weird stats and stuff. The defensive upgrade is pretty nice, lads. You've got 86 standing tackle there, which is decent. Really nice interceptions. Just a really overpowered defensive card. But the physical stats, lads, is why this card is so good. You've got 94 stamina and 93 strength. Just amazing. I want this inside of me. As you guys know, unless you've been living under a rock, Sissoko is just one of the most broken cards in this game. He's so freaking good. Love the normal card. And this is this is a sizable upgrade. It's certainly not worth 260k. If you don't have it, lads, don't do it. There'll be better cards out there. Just hold on to your money for future stars and, and other various promos. Just don't, don't do it, okay? But yeah, like I said, if you have the coins like I do maybe do it it's still a lot of money but I mean for me it's it's a sentimental thing I want this card because I love his normal card purely I just
just want the, the ultimate Sissoko, you know? And I, again, I can afford it, so it's not a big deal. I've been using Sissoko's normal card in this team uh, throughout Weekend League. We were playing him as a CDM, not as a centre mid. I'd much rather play him as a centre mid, I think, because those high, high work rates, but obviously Oxley Chamberlain also has high, high work rates, and Veron's not really a CDM. So again, we'll see what we get in icon swaps, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely more of a centre mid, I think. And it's not to say you can't play CDM, you know, he absolutely can, but just the work rates, I'd prefer medium high, I think, even medium medium, I think, because I just don't want him to get forward. You know, I, the reason I love Mascherano so much is the low high work rate, he never gets forward. Sissoko gets forward, that's, it's a bit of a problem. Again, much better for centre mid, so if you guys are thinking about doing it, I definitely think he's, he's definitely more of a centre mid than, than a CDM. Anyway, boys and girls, enough said about this Sissoko, lads, I just want to try this card out. I've been waiting a very long time for this. I'm so stoked, my dudes. I'm going to be jumping into one game, though, because again, uh, I've got to get this out and edit it and stuff. So anyway, enough talking about it, lads. Let's just jump straight into game number one. Okay, first time using Futma Sissoko. He is going to be playing centre mid for the review, lads, purely because that is just, in my opinion, going to be his best position. But yeah, like I said, I'll probably be using... Oh, Boutra. Oh. I will probably be using him as a CDM uh, during Fut Champs, at least until I get an icon centre mid, or if I do. So yeah, centre, centre mid today. Let's test his dribbling out, because he has really good in-game dribbling, but terrible balance and agility, so... I mean, it usually feels pretty good. It's, yeah, it feels pretty good. We could... Oh my god. Sissoko! The foot! Okay then! If that's what 68 finishing is, I... Then okay, right. So that was a fucking lie. Plus, that was on his left foot and he's freestyle weak foot. Yes, okay, okay. 1v1 me, bitch. I'm fast as fuck, boy! Lads, he feels really good on the ball. Like, considerably better than... Oh my god, please score. Butra! Oh my god, what a strike! Sissoko feels incredible on the ball. Like, he usually feels solid on the ball. He feels really good. That in-game dribbling is very noticeable. Very noticeable indeed. <laughs> yeah, boy. Good interception. We are absolutely running havoc right now. We, this guy doesn't know how to deal with us. That should be free. Oh, Lord. The shooting in this game. We cannot miss right now. Some incredible goals. What a finish from... Oh, my God. Not an early rage quit. Surely not. Surely not. 11 minutes and a rage quit. Um, dude, you can just, you're gonna, you're just gonna, you're gonna show me up like that, make me look like a fucking... Oh, there we go, come on! But there you go, boys and girls, what a performance from Sissoko, getting himself a goal and an assist. Felt incredible attackingly, obviously we didn't get to see much defensively, but we already know that, that Sissoko is a beast when it comes to tackling. I know I said I'd only play one game, lads, but that was so short that I felt like we ought to play a game too, so let's jump straight into it, game number two. Oh no, we've got Sissoko versus... Why am I doing this with my hands? We've got Sissoko versus Sissoko. What is going on? Right, Sissoko, now it's you. Catch up. Look at that pace. He's so quick. Come on. Come on. Get it. There we go. He's, he's just a beast as ever. As ever. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Right off. Lovely. Back to him. It's poor. I'll see you in the Back, no. Butcher Queen! Come on! I honestly, like, I, I don't know what's going on right now, but my finishing is actually good. I usually miss, like, 20 chances a game. And right now, I don't think I've honestly missed a shot. Go on, play. Yes, what a pass. Davia, shoot! Come on! Oh, it's so, it's so lucky, but I'll, I'll take it. Uh, that was, that was all, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know what my English is today, boys. I'm, I'm tired. Just relax. Just relax. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Well, there you go, boys and girls. That about concludes things. Overall, he's great. You know, he's really, really solid. Really like the feel of him. Feels like a good upgrade. Not feeling too immaculate or crazy. Definitely not worth 250k. But he does feel good. And if you've got the coins to spare, you know, and you're probably going to do it anyway, I'm happy to report that he does feel good and it does feel like a good upgrade. However, if you don't have the coins to spare, lads, and you're just wondering whether or not you should do it, I'd probably say just just don't. You know, we again, we've got tons of promos coming around the corner. Uh, and I just feel like the 81 rated is sufficient you know I know it sounds crazy that we're in December and we're talking about an 81 rated card actually being good enough but really he, he is 81 rated to Sogo will do the job for you it's not it's not worth 250k EA kind of spoiled it with that price it really should have been probably 285 rated squads not 286 in my opinion you know it just just didn't need to be that ridiculous again it's a good upgrade but it's just not worth that much money but I'm pretty sure a lot of people are still gonna do it so if you feel like you just want to do it 
to be part of the cool club, I don't fucking know, then uh, nothing I'm going to say is going to prevent you from doing it. If you've got the coins, you might as well. If you don't, don't worry about it. You're not you're not missing out on too much. Just get the regular gold 5,000 coin 81 rated one. It'll do a good enough job for you guys. Anyway, boys and girls, that is concluded today's episode. I hope you did enjoy. We should have a cheeky little team review video for you guys on the 24th, so look forward to that. Uh, and then I'm probably going to take a short little break for Christmas, you know, actually socialise with my family. I know it sounds fucking crazy, but I might actually leave my bedroom and shit. But we'll talk about that a little bit more in another video, boys and girls. I'm going to crack on and edit this, and yeah, just, yeah, alright. I'll see you guys next one, alright? Peace.